Hi, welcome back. In this lecture, we'll create a Kafka consumer to consume messages from the Kafka topic. Well, if you can see our Kafka architecture, so far we have created a Kafka producer which will send a message to the Kafka topic. Now, in this lecture, we'll create a Kafka consumer which will consume a message from the particular Kafka topic. Well, let's head over to the IntelliJ idea and let's write the Java code to create a Kafka consumer. Well, let's go to Kafka package, right click on it, new and then choose Java class and let's give class name as Kafka consumer. All right, hit enter and let's go ahead and let's annotate this class with add service annotation to make this class as a spring bean. So within this class, we are going to create a, you know, subscriber method, which will subscribe to the topic. So we are going to basically use Kafka listener annotation from spring Kafka library to listen or to subscribe to the topic. So let's first create the method and then we're going to use annotation to subscribe to the topic. So let's say public and the return type of the method is wide and let's say consume is the method name and we're going to basically consume the type string right message type string. So let's say string message and then let's annotate this method with at Kafka listener annotation and make sure that you choose Kafka listener annotation from spring framework dot Kafka dot annotation okay so spring basically provide this annotation to subscribe you know to the topic well let's call this annotation over here and this annotation has a lot of properties so we're going to use topics attribute to provide a topic so let's say the topic name is java guides right now this consume method it acts as a subscriber and it subscribed to the java guides Kafka topic well, whenever Kafka producer will send a message to the Kafka topic, then this subscriber method will, you know, uh, receive that message from this Java guides Kafka topic. Well, there can be any number of subscribers. Okay, in our example, to keep it simple, we have only one consume subscriber method. It's it subscribed to the Kafka Java guides topic. Okay, great. We have provided a consumer group id right so we need to also provide a consumer group id to this annotation so in order to do that we're gonna call group id and then we have given a consumer group id as my group right so if we can open application.properties file we have given a consumer group id as a my group right so this my group id we have to provide in the annotation all right, perfect. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to have a logger over here and then we log the messages. So let's say private static final and then logger from cell 4G library and then there should be a logger and then logger factory and get logger. and then dot class all right now let's use this logger to log the messages okay logger dot info and then let's use string dot format method and let's say message received and then let's put the placeholder percentage yes and then pass the message okay well, whenever Kafka producer will send a message to the Kafka topic, then this consumer will consume that message from the Kafka topic and it will print to the console by using this log statement. All right, it's pretty simple. Now let's go and let's run our Spring Boot application and let's verify how this Kafka consumer will work. So let me stop the existing server and let me start the server again. All right, and here you can see message received so right now in a kafka topic we have these number of messages right now we have written a kafka consumer so we can able to see that 
all these messages are consumed by this Kafka consumer and same messages were printed in a console by using this log statement message received followed by message now let's go ahead and let's use a rest api to send a message to the topic using kafka producer and we'll see how this kafka consumer will consume that message well let me go to the browser and let me send a message using this rest api let's say hello kafka hit enter well let's go to IntelliJ idea and let's see the logs and there we go message received hello kapka okay so let me send one more message let's say hello spring boot kapka and here you can see the log statement message received hello spring boot kapka it means that the Kafka consumer that we have written is working as expected. This is how basically we write a Kafka producer and consumer to send a message to the topic and consume that message from the topic.